My name is Bazen Oshan and I will talk today about our upcoming publication in stem cells entitled Low Dose Pesticide Mixture Induces Senescence in Human Normal Mesenchymal Stem Cells and Tumorigenic Phenotype in Premalignant Mesenchymal Stem Cells. We know that hundreds of pesticides are used worldwide in many domains. One of these domains is agriculture. Thus, fruits, vegetables and commodities are contaminated with multiple species of pesticides. Even though the quantities of pesticide, pesticides used in, in, use in this domain are regimented not to overpass a limit of human security, the exposure of the general population is chronic and is not restricted to one pesticide or one pesticide families. The aim of our study was to investigate the effect of a mixture of seven pesticides commonly found on food samples and on human mesenchymal stem cells and at doses that uh, are extrapolated from uh, the levels of pesticide residue found on uh, food samples as reported by the European Food Safety Agency and at the limits of security for humans. Human mesenchymal stem cells were treated with a mixture of seven pesticides. 21 days later, the number of these cells was reduced compared to control cells. This was not due to cell death neither by apoptosis nor by autophagy. Actually, pesticide mixture induced senescence in MSC in a dose-dependent manner. Our experiences have also shown that this senescence was not telomere-dependent, but stress-related. The pesticide mixture also modified the differentiation potential of MSC, favoring adipogenesis rather than osteogenesis. In other experiences, we used modified MSC in which stepwise oncogenic hits were introduced until the stage of pre-malignancy. Once treated with the pesticide mixture for 21 days, these cells showed an increased clonal proliferation. Moreover, pre-malignant MSC pre-treated with the pesticide mixture induced undifferentiated high-grade sarcomas when transplanted in mice and this was seen in all the mice. In conclusion, we show that a mixture of pesticides that can be ingested on a daily basis may constitute an additional environmental factor favoring aging in normal adult stem cells and promoting tumorigenesis in predisposed stromal environment.